Ciao lovelies, Lenaria here, and today I'm going to be doing a video where I try to do this aromatherapy kit from Walmart. This is from Horizon Group USA, and it is the Creative You Do-It-Yourself Peaceful Rose Aromatherapy Balance Kit. So we're going to open this up and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so what we got inside was um, a little plastic spray bottle with a lid, a measuring cup, two roller bottles, also plastic, a plastic pipette, um, they call these semi-precious gemstones, I have no idea what they are, <laughs> um, we got witch hazel oil, geranium essential oil, rose essential oil, lavender essential oil, and sunflower oil, then we got of course the instructions and some stickers to use, and a stir stick, and of course a small complaint, most of the box here is filled with these like, I don't know what you call them, paper worms, whatever, is what my stepsister was calling them earlier, but they're just like confetti essentially, but like why did you, like it, you could have made it this such a smaller box, so like I just, it's not a complaint, but okay. Now let's get into making the rollers, and then I'll make a spray, and then I'll talk a little bit about how I like the kit. Okay, first we're going to make one of the essential oil rollers, so to do this, I have to choose the essential oil and gemstones I want to use in the roller. I think I am going to go with the rose because it's simple and I like the scent of rose a lot. So that's going to be the essential oil that I go with. And the gemstones I'll go with the little pink ones because that makes sense for the theme. But okay, so it says to unscrew the lid of the roller bottle and pop off the roller insert, which it wasn't attached, so that's not hard. <laughs> so add the gemstones first. So I'm going to do that really quickly. If I can get them open, that would be helpful. Jeez, these things are packaged tightly. They don't really want me to get the gemstones out. Hang on. <laughs> I don't think they want me to get these gemstones out of here. Nope. Here, I'm just going to put them in my hand. There we go. And then put them in here. That was a bad sound. <laughs> Didn't like that. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is uh, use the pipette to add seven, seven milliliters of sunflower oil into the measuring cup, but I'm gonna just put it into the roller. That just makes more sense to me. Like, why are we doing this in a cup when we could just get the middleman and put it directly into the roller and then mix it with the essential oil? Like, it doesn't make sense to. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy. Why is this sealed like this? I know. I know it's for. I know it's for like safety reasons and stuff, but like this is so ridiculous. I could have had a tab here to help me pull this. Okay. Oh, I see, because it's a stirring stick. The stirring stick will fit in the roller, so no, we're doing this my way. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting stubborn. Hold on. So this pipette here is three milliliters. So we have to do two of these and then one milliliter. It only fills up to the one milliliter. So I'm gonna do this seven times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, now that they're all in there, that was a pain. Now I'm going to close that because I don't want to spill that, God forbid. And so now it says to put 10 drops of the essential oil or add more if you want a more fragrant oil. So I'm going to do... That was really hard to squeeze, actually. Like, I'm not, not even joking. That was very hard to squeeze. All right. Now stir it. And this is where it says, like, to pour it into the thing. But since we're doing it in the thing already, there's no need to pour anything. It's already in there. So stir it with a stirry stick. Mix all the oil around in there. All right. And it says you can add the label and pop this on and add the label. But what we're gonna do, that does not feel very secure. I'm a little concerned about that. Okay, what we're gonna do is pause here for a second because I've got some really cool witchy labels I'm gonna add to this. So let me go get those. Okay, and we're back. So pro tip. Add a couple more drops of the essential oil than they tell you to add because it's not that strong. So I actually ended up adding 15 drops instead of the 10. And then um, I actually took one of my own labels from this um, this Welcome to the Witching Hour sticker book from Michaels. 
and it says elixir on it it looks really pretty on the bottle so if you want to make prettier perfumes definitely use your own labels because their labels are kind of plain so now I'm gonna make the spray bottle so let's start with that okay so now we're gonna do the spray bottle version so what we've done um, is add with the whole bottle of the witch hazel oil to the spray bottle and then fill it most of the way with water like room temperature water can come from the sink and so now you add 10 to 20 drops of essential oil. And you can also add gemstones if you want to to this one, but I'm not going to add gemstones to this one just because I want to see kind of if it helps, I guess, with the <laughs> everything. But I think for this one, I'm going to do geranium and lavender maybe because I've never had that kind of mixture before and I want to see if it's good together. So let's see. I'm actually going to try it first. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad mixture. Okay. So let's put in lavender first. I'm going to put equal parts of each. So... 10 of lavender, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the geranium. So these are really hard to squeeze, by the way. I just want to mention that. That's why my hand is shaking so bad. It's really hard to squeeze these. <laughs> All right, so now you shake to mix. So we're going to stir that back on there and then mix it up. It's dripping. Why is it dripping? I don't like that. All right, so now it's all mixed up. And now we're going to add our label. And once again, I'm going to use one of my own labels, so I'll be right back when I do that. Okay, so I've mixed up the essential oils and I've added this little label that says Witch's Brew. Again, it's from the same set. If you wanted to know what set that was, that was the Witching Welcome to Witching Hour set of uh, stickers from Michaels that I really find make some cute labels for these little perfumes. So, overall thoughts on this kit. Um, this was on sale at Walmart for like $4 and I can definitely see why because it's kind of difficult to use and the bottles are really hard to squeeze. They're not very strong scents, they're not very strong essential oils rather. And so I can kind of see why this was on sale. Uh, plus the, the gemstones just seem kind of gimmicky, like there's no real purpose to having these except for, oh they're pretty. <laughs> so. And their, their um, labels are not that cute. This is what their labels look like. I decided not to use them. They're just kind of simple. And like they're not bad, but like I prefer something that's a little more cool than that. So that's why I chose to use my own labels. But on sale, I definitely say, yeah, it's definitely I'd pick it up um, again. If I, you know, if I saw it on sale again somewhere, I'd buy it again if I wanted to make more perfumes. But honestly, you could buy the little rollerball things pretty cheap and the little spray bottle pretty cheap and just invest in a set of essential oils and make your own perfumes. So. If you buy this, you can buy this as like a starter kit into essential oils, and that could be a good way to get started into this craft. But other than that, I would say that this is only worth it for a starter kit. So, thank you lovely so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like this video. Comment below if you want to see more like this. And stay awesome. Remember to love yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, lovelies!